Good morning, everyone. So I know I've been talking about surprises now for a little while, and I thought today that I would release one of the first surprises. So I've got one of three coming up, uh, big announcements that I need to make uh, that I haven't actually haven't done yet. Um, but this is the first one. So about two months ago or so, I went into Rancher's Supply to go get horse feed and hay and things like that for the horses and the donkeys, and they happened to just get in an order of chickens. So I went in alone, of course, and when I came out, I came out with 18 chickens, and <laughs> Corey wasn't real happy because we talked about getting just a couple chickens, you know, just to have around the farm, because I mean, what farm isn't complete without chickens? So when I came out with 18, um, well, 16, and then I ordered two roosters. So he was a little bit, he was a little bit upset because now that it added to him having to build a chicken coop. So um, there will be another video on the chicken coop because that is kind of turning into a larger project than we expected. Um, but it's going to be actually a, a beautiful chicken coop, and he's, it's, it's going to be amazing. But I'll do a separate video on the chicken coop once that's completed. Um, so for the time being, we built a chicken tractor. So that's what's behind me. So we built it out of metal to match our house because obviously our house is a born dominium, which I'll do a video on the house too at some point. And then underneath it, there's wood and underneath that has the, the screening. So nothing can actually get in there. Um, this back panel, we actually are going this back panel right here. Uh, we're going to put some hinges on so we can get more airflow through the through the coop until until we can finish the other one. This is just something temporary because I did have the chickens in my guest bedroom and all the little guys are getting really really big now so we needed a temporary structure until the chateau could be uh, completed but these are my chickens and um, of course, since I I got the chickens, we had to get two roosters, so there are two little roosters in there somewhere. Oh, there's one. They're getting big, so there's one right there. So these are, the yellow ones are Buff Orphingtons. The yellow ones are Lavender Orphingtons. This guy right here, the darker gray one, he's a Copper Moran. And then that one back there, he's an Easter Egger, the one that's got darker brown feathers. Well, her, actually. Darker brown feathers, she's an Easter Egger, so they're supposed to lay really pretty eggs. So, I wanted to introduce you to our girls. And, oh, the dog just walked over here, so that's why we, uh, that's why, that's why we're not happy about this. But this is Wilson. Wilson, can you say hi? It's pretty warm here today. It's about 90 degrees, so they're all kind of just they're all staying in the in the back in the shade because it is it is pretty warm, but these are the chickens. We have their heat lamps in there and a place for their food. I also put um, put food out for them to scratch around so they can do chicken things like he's doing. That's one of the roosters. Hi. This is Peach. She's really the only one that I've named because she's super friendly and she comes up to me all the time. But we're working on it. Well, I know. Those are pretty girls. Yeah. We're doing chicken things this morning. Don't chase the chickens. Um, like I said, I'll do a video once we get the chicken coop completed, but of our chicken coop. And I don't know. I mean, I've got now horses, donkeys, chickens. Who knows what else is coming, but. But I hope you all enjoy this video and stay tuned. I've got two more surprises and I will hopefully be releasing those uh, within the next couple weeks or so. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.
So when we first got home, we used a white heat lamp, and we didn't know that a red heat lamp was better for baby chicks, so we changed over to that. But we had them in an 85-gallon outdoor planting container <laughs> with pine shavings on the bottom, along with their food and, and water. We put this green strap across the top with some chicken wire so they couldn't get out and the dogs couldn't get in. We did have to play around with the heat lamps to get the adjustments correct. We tried two heat lamps and it was making it too warm and then we ended up going with one heat lamp and adjusting the location and the height of it. But we did finally get it all right and this was then when they first got here. So this was one of the Easter Eggers. They were a little bit bigger than all the rest of the chicks, so they were very attentive and they knew what was going on. And sooner rather than later, they found the water feeder and started to stand on top of it and knock it over. This is when they started getting a little bit bigger and they could eat the dried mealworms, so I gave them some of them to get this video so you could see them all. And pecking at the ground. It was really cute. They're, they were really cute when they were little. They're cute now still, but they were super cute when they were little. you're gonna have chickens, you gotta have roosters. So we went and got baby little roos. These are our two roosters that are going to be with our girls. It's a lavender Orpington and a copper Moran.
the super that are little chicken nuggets. And some crazy birds next door, right? I don't know. The roosters were quite a bit smaller than the, the chickens at this point, so we did keep them in a 40 gallon container uh, by themselves until we moved them out to the chicken tractor. Right now we grew up overnight. They're like little um, um, gremlins. Give them water at night and they multiply. <laughs> Hello there. We're very curious. Sure, my well, we're my three Easter eggers. We have buff Orphingtons in here, lavenders, and copper morans. These three right here that are bigger, yes you, are Easter eggers. I oh know, they're so pretty. They're pretty, pretty birdies. Pretty, pretty birdie. Hi, I yes, you're a pretty birdie. Yeah. Since the chickens were getting bigger quickly, we moved them into our guest bedroom with a child's playpen. We put some pine shavings on the bottom of it. But that didn't work out because they were flying, so we put them in this type of playpen, which worked out a lot better. Well, hello. Yes, you all made a mess. Why did we knock over our water? Hmm? Yeah, did you knock over your water? And your food? Well, hi there. You a pretty birdie? Yeah, you're a pretty birdie. These are the baby roosters. We did keep them separated because we tried to put them in with the hens and the hens just kept chasing them around and, and pecking at them and it was it was just a little bit too dangerous for the hens to for the roosters to be in with the hens so we kept them in their separate container until we could move them all out to the chicken tractor. And once we moved them into the chicken tractor they didn't really notice them so they all started getting along and and uh they're just really cute, and this is when they got a little bit bigger. But now that they're all in the chicken tractor together, everyone gets along, and there's no more fighting. The chickens were quite big at this point, so we knew that we had to get them out of the house. So that's why we built this temporary 
chicken tractor, which I discussed at the beginning of the video, but we did this so they could be outside and living like normal chickens, pecking from the grass and scratching and doing chicken things. So we're glad that we built this temporary structure for them um, so we could spend some more time and actually really get the chicken coop the way we wanted it um, and what was best for them. So this is where they're at for now until the chicken coop's done. And like I said, I'll do a video on the chicken coop. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed all that we've been doing here on Fletcher Farms. Thank you all for watching.